he was a death row dog and they were gonna put him down. Duke was extremely dangerous. If you saw a person a block away, he would start lunging at the leash. The vet was not able to treat him for anything without being muzzled. The vet actually recommended to be euthanized because he was too aggressive. But for some weird reason, he just really bonded to me. I couldn't let Duke be put down. There was something about him, those big brown eyes. My aunt was really into watching this particular dog trainer TV show. There was a lot of rules so that way your dog wouldn't become the alpha dog. We did a lot of dominance training with him. Chokers, prongs to make him submit to me, and punishment. I did not see improvement with Duke. In fact, I felt that mine and Duke's relationship was getting further apart, and I didn't like it. One day I was walking Duke. I was a 115-pound girl walking 130-pound dog. He became extremely aggressive. I was not able to control him. And there was a technique that the trainer taught where you're pretty much kicking them in the stomach. And that's what I did to Duke. He turned around and bit me in the knee, defending himself from me. His ears went back, his eyes got really big, and he cowered for me. He was really upset, and that was kind of the moment where I realized this is not the relationship that I want with my dog. I don't want the, my dog and I to be in this constant struggle for power and what I felt like abusive relationship with my dog. I started doing a lot more research into a positive reinforcement. And within about a month or so, kids were able to run up to him and say hi. We had no issues with other dogs running up at us, other people. I just had this new relationship with my dog. Everyone was just amazed and shocked and everybody wanted to know how I did it. I changed the way I was with him and then he became a good dog. People would tell me, you know, you saved his life, but I do see my backstory and Duke's story being similar. At 11 years old, it's very unheard of that you get adopted from Russia. Someone else giving us a second chance, providing that loving environment. He was a wonderful dog the rest of his life. Duke is the reason why I'm a dog trainer and this site exists. This site is Duke's legacy.